What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on the channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Another pre-proposal in the mix here from our dear Clayboyne, the uh, the DAO manager. So this is this is all about the DAO taking some profit, which is kind of exciting, right? So let's actually jump into this. It's not very long, so I, I'm just going to get to the, the main points here and then give some of my thoughts. Essentially, what Clay is, uh, is suggesting here, or proposing, I should say, is that the DAO specifically start to take profit on its ETH positions, right, Ethereum positions, if Ethereum reaches higher than $5,000, according to CoinMarketCap. So you can see here, if the proposal passes, each week that the price of Ethereum is greater than $5,000, according to CoinMarketCap, the SPS DAO will convert four of its Ethereum into USDC. This process will continue until the DAO has 100 Ethereum tokens remaining in its Ethereum wallet, or the SPS DAO chooses to rescind this proposal with a subsequent, uh, subsequent vote, right? So as of now, we have 296 uh, ETH, right? Or we'll just say close to 300 ETH, and only about 160,000 USDC. I, I mean, I like this proposal in in uh, in a general sense. I think it's good for the DAO to start taking some profit. I think obviously five thousand is a pretty good target. If you look at like two ninety six times five thousand, I believe that came out to like one point four million in terms of like U S dollar value of our Ethereum when when that's calculated out. So I, you know, again, I, I don't think we should sell all of it. And my main concern when it comes to this is, is are we selling too much of it at 5,000? Uh, are we, we're going to be selling like two thirds of it if it reaches 5,000. Now, here's the thing that I, I'm, I'm thinking through with this now is I, I'm for the ETH bulls out there. Let's put it, let's put it this way, right? Which I, I'm not necessarily one. I mean, I think ETH is cool, but you know me, I'm a Bitcoin maxi, right? So I, I think ETH is cool. There's going to be some interesting things, things that happen, but Every bull run, there's always like a new competitor that comes into the mix, whether it's Solana or BNB or something. So that's not to say I don't think ETH can go any higher. In fact, I'm trying to make the argument here that it could, which means if we believe collectively, right, that ETH could hit higher price targets such as 10,000 or 15,000 or 20,000. Should we not be reserving some of the ETH for that? So at this point, it's like, okay, if ETH is at any, or at least according to this proposal, if ETH is at any, you know, value higher than 5,000, we sell, you know, up to 200 or almost 200 of the Ethereum tokens. Whereas I'm wondering, should we limit that, right? And say, all right, 5,000, uh, if it's 5,000, we sell up to 100 tokens. And then if it goes up to 10,000, we can sell another 50 tokens, right? And then up to 20,000, another 50 tokens. Something like that, a more tiered approach is what I'm, I'm considering. Now, the thing is, I like the idea of this regardless, and so I'm still gonna be voting yes for it. And the main reason that, even though I'm giving these suggestions, the main reason I'm voting for this is because this happens relatively slowly. And if ETH were to hit some of these higher marks or have the potential to hit these higher marks, I I genuinely think that we could come through as a community and obviously Clay would, you know, take the lead on this and essentially just have it be where we uh, <laughs> essentially just have it, have it be where we make a new proposal at that time frame. Right now, to start taking profit, I'm okay with it because keep in mind if I'm okay with like, let's say the arbitrary number I just picked is like a hundred. I mean, that's, that's two years, right? That's two years worth of ETH being over 5,000. This is what I'm saying. Like there's time for us to go in and adjust the proposal, rescind the proposal, submit a brand new one. So ultimately I'm okay with this. I think this helps us to future proof, uh, some of the DAO's future in terms of taking profit and I'm all for it. So I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments below, how you're viewing this. I, I think it's a good idea. Uh, considering what is currently owned. And I wonder if we should be doing this with some of the other tokens as well. I, I don't know what the DAO's holdings are right now. If you guys want, I can try to do a video on that, focusing in on the rest of the holdings. I, I think we have some BNB as well. And considering that BNB just hit a new all-time high, I mean, we are getting into hopefully an exciting time in you know this, this bull run, if it does really continue the way that we're expecting it to over the next 12 to 18 months. But 
ultimately, you know, I, I like the fact that Clay is taking a very proactive approach to this. We are deciding now it's going to be unemotional and we're just going to sell. And uh, in the future, if we start to see things really ramping up, we can go in and adjust from there. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Just want to let you know, if you want to exercise your right to vote, make sure you go check this out and uh, put in your vote. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.